This is why Wing Chun is ineffective, part one. My name is Kambis Mostovizadeh. I've been practicing martial arts for the majority of my life. I've done Taekwondo, I've done boxing, I've done karate, I have a black belt in Shinzen Karate. Um, I believe in martial arts as an effective way to be able to defend oneself. I believe in learning all the different types of martial arts to see what system can benefit you the most for your body type and for your weight and for your size. But let me talk about why Wing Chun is ineffective. Wing Chun was started by Ning Mui, this uh, an individual that uh, was a Shaolin master. Uh, she was uh, uh, a person who was trained effectively in, in the different styles of Shaolin. She took the best and most effective techniques of different Shaolin styles and created a new style known as Wing Chun for self-defense. Though it wasn't known as Wing Chun at the time because Wing Chun itself is named after her student, Ning Mui's student. Ning Mui, the Spring Maiden, taught Wing Chun, um, who was a daughter of a well-to-do family, and she married into another well-to-do family, but um, she didn't want to continue her marriage, uh, or she didn't want to get married to the individual who wanted to marry her, so the individual challenged her to a public martial arts duel in the village in which she won. She used the technique she had learned from Ning Mui and defeated the individual who wanted to marry her. She won her freedom. In the end, the style was named Wing Chun, especially because her name was Wing Chun. That's why the style is called Wing Chun. Now, in the future, the style evolved to become a more effective fighting style in that Ip Man used it not only in real street fights, but also he would train many of his students. But in the end, he only had a handful of students that he passed his knowledge on to. How many were they? There were a handful. There were five. We know what their names are. They, he only taught these five students the true form of what Wing Chun is. The rest of the individuals that did learn Wing Chun learned mostly what could be called an empty shell of what Wing Chun is. Some of them turned out to be very effective fighters and they took the techniques from Wing Chun and incorporated it into their own styles. For example, Bruce Lee with Jeet Kune Do. Now, we all watch Bruce Lee. We all love movies. We've all seen Ip Man. It's a great movie. But it's just a movie. That's it. It's a movie. It's a dramatization of an individual's life. Now Bruce Lee, the movies that he played in weren't dramatizations of his life. He was actually playing, he was an actor. He was a martial artist, but he was an actor. He also started, he also did cha-cha dancing. He also did mixed martial arts, he did multiple styles. And that's why it was so easy for him when to create Jeet Kune Do, which was his style of martial arts. It was Bruce Lee's martial art. And it incorporated parts of Wing Chun, the parts that were effective. Now later in Ip Man's life, near the end of his life, Bruce Lee actually took a camera team and went down, went to Hong Kong, and tried to get Ip Man to allow him to film the final form. The final form, there's three forms in Wing Chun. He had to do the, he, had, he wanted to film the final form. And Ip Man would not let him because Ip Man was very cautious of revealing the secrets of Wing Chun to foreigners. And that's why he was more happy or it, it, it was more effective for him to teach an empty shell of what Wing Chun is rather than teach the actual secrets other than to a handful of students. And again, we know who they were. And again, going back to Bruce Lee. Bruce Lee was a student. He was a child when he started Wing Chun under Ip Man. But again, he did not finish. He incorporated parts of it and those parts were effective. But again, he was an actor. 
He was a he was a physical specimen. He was an extraordinary individual. You're not going to find another individual like him. So, going back to is Wing Chun ineffective? Yes, it's ineffective as a striking art versus Western boxing. Western boxing using straight punches, jabs, hooks, uppercuts, dodging. Um, multiple combinations of punches with strength and they have real-time training and real-time sparring so it's much much more effective if we want to say is Wing Chun ineffective yes it is in comparison to Western boxing it's effective for itself just like capoeira is effective for itself is it a dancing form yes it is is it also a martial art yes it is there has never been a Wing Chun practitioner that has become a mixed martial artist champion Never. It's just not effective. Not in a street fight. 